if you could see it. Ah, catch up my hand, it's cold in here. Good morning guys, and welcome to today's video. Say good welcome. Good welcome. Say good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. We are looking for Elfie already, and we found him on the fireplace. Elfie brought the girls back little baby reindeers from the North Pole. That is so super cool. For any of you guys who are new to Elfie, because some of you guys have mentioned that, um, he was assigned to our family a lot of years ago and he always watches over the kids during the Christmas month so that he can make sure that they behave. He's just a really good reminder. And at night, he was back to the North Pole and tells Santa everything that happened. Yeah, me and Gabby will never be mean until January. Yeah, until January. Yeah, because and it's important only for the month of December. I'm not taking this stuff off because um, I don't want it. Yeah, I like mine with the tag on too. It's like he has a oh, little look, collar. Look, his face He's is so, so cute. cute. He kind of reminds me of Toby. His name is Peppermint, but we can call him Mint. That's super cool. All right, so um, today is the last day of the week. And you'd think we'd be winding down in homeschool, but we're not. We're revving up and we're doing something brand new today. What are we doing, Gabby? Um, a new program called K5 Learning. <laughs> so basically, I'm trying out a new program today that's a little more inclusive. It has all the things that, um, it has everything kind of more together than the programs that we use. Right now we use like a bunch of programs, like five, um, to get everything they need plus I supplement. This one is a little more, um, has everything all together. So we're gonna try it out. But to start, they have to do a test. And in homeschool, you don't have to do testing. Testing is something you do when you have so many kids that you can't keep track of who's learning what and knows what. But with just two of them, I know exactly where they are all the time. Okay, so. <laughs> The girls are all set up. They're gonna do a reading assessment and then a math assessment. <coughs> are you excited? And if we need to, we can take a break. If you need to, it you can take a break. It's math lesson, not math assessment. Oh, I might have to go back in and fix that. But I think if you click on it, it'll take you to your assessment. Okay, on your mark, get set. Just wait, just wait. I want you to both know, just try your best. And if you get yeah, one wrong. Yeah, it's reading. Yeah, and if you get one wrong, that's okay. It needs it's to reading. figure out what you can do and what you can't, it's so it's okay. It's reading. So you think it'll be easy? Yeah, it's reading first. All right. I kind of like that program because I, if it works out for us, then I'll have a little more time to get the things done that I need to get done because a lot of it's independent with a little bit of help. Right now I'm running the whole show, which I love, but um, this might help. This might really be beneficial for me. I'll be able to get all my chores done before we go to the bar. Mail time! Boo! Woo! <clears throat> Fun horsey surprises. Please open carefully. Sasha, the horse girl, sent us this letter in all these pictures. She's considering opening a toy horse tack shop. Let's open this. I get first pick, I call dibs on it. Ah, don't touch, don't touch, don't ah! touch. Don't touch. Wait, what are oh. these? Oh my god. Oh, so oh my god, I call dibs on these two. Thanks. Sasha the horse girl made this like horse tack. This is a leather halter and lead rope and it is so nice and she made a bunch of other ones. This is a saddle pad. It's black. Sasha, you just shut down mail time mid mail haul. The girls had to stop everything so that they could put your halters and lead ropes and saddle pads on their horses because they're so excited about them. Like what happened to mail time? 
Uh, this is mail time. But <laughs> you guys stop. Go we on, definitely on. think that you should open an online um, toy horse tack shop because you are amazing, the things that you guys made. <laughs> And she wants to be all pen pals, so yes! Thanks, Emma. I'm just walking in with another a package from the P.O. Box, and it is from Kristen, and she's from Buffalo, New York. Um, she is a veterinary student, and she's gonna focus mainly on equine health. She said that our horse is beautiful, and she hopes that by the time we get this letter, that she's doing well. And she said that she really loves our Schleich horse setup. And she has a few horses of her own. And that, um, a picture! She'd like to have a setup like ours. So she sent us this letter. Uh, it, doesn't that look like her? The ears are totally right on. That really yeah. looks like her. And her boy. All right, so we're gonna let Sophie open the package. This is the package from Kristen. Let me open it. If you guys can't have a bunny, okay, why not cool. have a Schleich bunny hut? Well, can I get the baby bunny? You guys don't have a bunny hut, do you? We want it. Thanks, Thanks Kristen. Kristen. Okay. They are so excited. Thanks, Kristen. I just want to show everybody what it looks like on the back. And those are the sets. And on the front. It's a bunny hut. The bunny hut. The bunny hut. With a bunny. And some fencing to keep the bunnies in and stuff. It is okay, super it. cool. No. We're at the barn, you guys, and it's deserted. It's deserted because there's a blizzard outside. Okay, it's not really a blizzard, but there's been snow and it is cold. Like, I have snow pants on. Gabby has snow. To. Yeah, we have to. But I don't need snow pants. Yeah, my girls who think that they are never cold both have snow pants on. So we're not gonna ride Sabrina today because she's thin and I just, I just feel really uncomfortable. I just want her to get well and be well. We are gonna go down and we are gonna see her because we still want her to know that we haven't forgot about her and I have this thing where I can't just have an animal and then just leave it and not let it, like not visit it all the time. So we're gonna go down. I'm bringing this and this down. So we're gonna bring her some treats because she could use them and mm -hmm. we're gonna go and visit her and that's all we're gonna do today. It's Friday night. And we need to see our baby. And I can't even imagine how hard it is to have a horse in the middle of Canada in winter. There's only one left. Yeah, I've been giving them to her. Seriously. Seriously. Okay, get your earmuffs. It's cold, you guys. Wind is almost blowing me back. They think they're going in for supper, so they won't move away from the gate. At least the ground is frozen. Don't catch the wire. Up like that. Dying for a drink. Hold this one when we're dying for a drink too. Oh, oh, oh. oh water. <laughs> Wake up. You can't fill it all the way. Oh 
the water. You should stop drinking. Uh, no, not going. She's in the trees because it's nice and warm in the trees. It's so cold. Now they're running off. They're afraid. I feel like a horse. For you. Give her a candy cane. You better. Here, hold this. Show me. You stay away from the other. So go. Bring her over for water. But we can't actually. Hello, honey. Hold on there, dude. Hello. 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 Okay. Oh, God. We're in <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. This is scary, you guys. the news that tank did not work out he's only tank been is leaving. tank is leaving huh yeah because he's coming. dying no Hi. he's dying he's too uh, not adjusting to the move to a new barn very well she said and they haven't even really been able to ride him because he's just been freaking out today is really cold and really windy all of you guys probably saw the horses were freaking out we saw sabrina get into a fight sam Oh, really? Yeah, and she's she just ran. minding her own, but no, she, she ran. ran away. Gabby the baby. Our poor little Sabrina. But we know not to interfere ran in any kind of... because Spencer was biting her neck. Yeah, it, and we... And Spencer got electrocuted. Yeah, and Spencer no got... Journey. Oh, so did Spencer. And Sabrina. And Sabrina? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, and Spencer. So... Spencer was pushing Sabrina into the light. We know more than enough to stand back and stay away from any horses fighting, but it's awful. Horses are awful. Like they all want to pick on our girl, no matter what field she goes into. And she's I knew it's because she's at the bottom of the herd, and I get that. It's just mean, though. Like leave our horse alone. Leave our horse alone. Ah! Ah! We are home from the barn, you guys. We got our warm pajamas on. I got my onesie on. You got you almost at everyone. Yeah, she's got the warmest onesie. Gabby's got her onesie on. Oh wait, she does not have a onesie on. But what kind of shirt do you have on? Uh, our day by day shirt. Our old day by day shirt. <coughs> she wears that to bed all the time. You guys, I'm so stoked for Christmas. Sam and I feel like things are coming together like crazy, and we nailed Christmas. I feel like we nailed Christmas. Are you excited that we think we nailed Christmas? Yeah, me too. I love opening presents and. Spending the whole entire day with our kids playing and trying on their new stuff and isn't it so fun? 
Yeah. Do you want clothes for Christmas? No. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Anyway, we are gonna end today's video. We did not stay long at the barn. Seeing horses in Canada is so different than what I ever thought it was gonna be. It's crazy. We just started winter today. That weather was so cold. It was freezing. Even was the hot. water was frozen. I was hot. Because you guys I were running around. No, I was just walking. The I horses was, were spooked and freaking out at everything because and the wind was so Spencer crazy. Spencer huh? fought with Sabrina. And Spencer fought with Sabrina. But anyway, I'm going to do comment of the day. I love putting any questions that I have in into our videos because you guys always come back and it always really reaffirms um, and teaches me a lot. So basically, I was really worried and I am worried about her weight loss. I am so terrified she's going to get colic again. That was a horrible, horrible situation. Um, and for the most part, you guys are all saying that this is something that happens after colic and that it's something that happens in winter and I feel a lot better after reading all of your comments. I feel like Fiona knows that she's gotten too thin and she's increasing everything that she needs to increase and she's working, consciously working at getting her to gain weight now. So I feel better about that. Reading your guys' comments and knowing that this can be a thing makes me feel a little bit better. Keegan Harris says, has she been wormed or does she need her teeth done? But it's probably just a winter thing. Um, Sherry Hyde says, my horse is doing that too. She's lost some weight and doing it a little more. My mom said it was because it's winter. Horse girl that is crazy said that she is underweight. She needs more food and only half an hour of riding a week. It may also be because of the recent colic. I personally would give her hay leg if possible. Um, Brianna the Equestrian, it's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Brianna. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, Kids Patek says more grass, more hay because she is less fed. Yep, that's what we're doing where she's getting double everything. Uh, Avengers 911 says she's definitely skinny. I think you guys need more grass in the pastures. That would make a big difference. So basically a lot of you guys are agreeing she's definitely too skinny. So I'm glad to know that I wasn't worrying for nothing and that she needs more to eat. And that's what we're doing. She's getting a double all of her food, a double grain. And in Canada, we don't have any grass and pastures in winter, nowhere. There's not a single place in Ontario. Yeah, they're all like muddy or frozen. Yeah, you can't, there's no grass in Ontario in winter. For the next six months, there will be no grass. So basically, we have to bring, we have to bring them in and we have to feed them hay. That's all we can do. So that's what we're going to do. And hopefully, I'll be updating you guys really soon and she'll be back to her um, a chubbier, happier self. Anyway, that is it for today, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bye! And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.